YouTube, what is good? What is going? It's your boy Smokey the Mac, man. Today we're back with another video, bro. And it is not the normal video that we normally do. We are here today talking about controllers and how this can benefit you in gaming, man. So a lot of people, man, they just have normal Xbox controllers, bro. They just use this or PlayStation controllers and they use this to jump, you know, this to reload, this to prone, this to like swap weapons, whatever it may be. And shoot, you know, shoot name, throw utilities and all that goodness, right? But lately, man, I've been using these Power A controllers. These are about like 29 to 40 bucks, bro. And they even have better versions, bro. They go up all the way up to like $80. They're like the Xbox Elite controllers, man. And these do have back buttons, as you can tell. And they are mappable. There's a mappable button right here that you can map any of these back buttons to any of these, man. Any of these buttons on the face of the controller. I uh, highly recommend you guys pick up one of these. Like I said, bro, they're super cheap. You get the warranty, bro. You can end up swapping them out every time they go bad. This is what the box is looking like. This is a Power A controller. Boom, as you can tell. Boom, boom. And it's, bro, I'm not going to lie to you. It's like, it's not the best, it's not the best built controller, you know. It, it kind of feels kind of cheap, but it handles business. Now, one thing I will say for the people that use a uh, headphone jack, I have heard that the headphone jack doesn't really work proper on these controllers. So maybe think about that as well. If you're going to be using a headset, maybe find another adapter for your headset. Um, so you don't have to plug it in directly to the controller because that could be a problem, you know what I mean? And it might not be wor working the way you want it to work type shit. Or your mic just might sound kind of echoed, you know what I mean? So you guys may be wondering, like, have you even tried any expensive controller, Smokey? Have you tried any of, like, the Scuffs, the Battle Beavers, the um, Finch Gaming or anything like that? And honestly, I have. So right here sitting next to me, this is the Power A. And then right here on my PC, I have my baby. I bought this back maybe like I think sometime last year, if I'm not mistaken. This is by Cinch Gaming. Boom. The PS5 controllers. So this is when the PS5 was dropped. It has mouse click back buttons, as you, as you can tell. It has mouse click triggers. But this one's broken. This is why I don't use it no more because it doesn't click. Boom. This was $250. And this motherfucker right here, this controller has changed my game. I was dropping 20s, double digit games back to back all the time, bro. And this is it right here. But this being $250, bro, when it breaks, it's not it's not affordable to to buy, like to get another one, you know what I mean? So that is why I went over here and I and I picked up one of these Power A's that I was just showing you guys. And I'm going to show you guys, man, what is the best budget setup to have pretty much like this $250 controller. I know this is mouse click buttons, it has tight analog sticks, bro, like you're not missing with this joint. Now this one right here, they're looser analog sticks. They're not as like high quality. You know, they're cheap, like I was saying. But I found the cheat, man, to make this right here one of the best controllers you can possibly buy and only spend like 60 bucks out the door. You know what I'm saying? So like I was saying, it has mappable buttons in the back. This one right here is to crouch for me. And this one's right here to jump. Right? But... I also put a control freak on. This is the high rise. This is like a mid rise, I think, actually. It's a dome, as you can tell. And I used to have the same one, but it was a little bit shorter on this side, on this side, but it broke. So I don't have it on there anymore. But a new thing that I implemented into my controllers that I had to get used to, and it did end up breaking in. Like, I, like once they're broken in, bro, they're f W. Is these precision rings by control freak right here, these green things. This will make this controller. Feel like an Xbox Elite or maybe one of these $250 controllers. I'm not going to lie to you guys. This has tightened up my aim because on these controllers, like I was saying, the analog sticks feel kind of loose. So when you're making movements, minor adjustments, it's pulling. Like, it's pulling. Like, the littlest movement is it's shooting you to the right hella far. So, what I, so like I was saying, I ended up picking up these control freak rings. And I've been wanting to try them for a long time. They're called precision rings right here. This is what they're called. They come in different packs, okay? This is the variety pack. I highly uh, focus. I highly recommend you guys get the variety pack. See how it says soft, medium, and hard strength for the rings? Six aim assistant rings improves accuracy and custom and customized precision, baby. Precision rings by control freaks. They work on Xbox, PlayStation, and the Switch Pros. So I highly recommend you pick these up, man. These just go on your analog sticks as shown, like I was showing you guys. And they come in a little bag like this. You get two of each. You get a black one, the hardest ring that you'll have. And this one's like the resistance on it is probably going to be like at, at full resistance. The purple one is medium, which you actually can tell there's two of them. It's going to be like medium resistance. And then the green one. The green ones, which is what I use, and this is the soft one. If I'm going to be honest with you guys, 
I think the I think the green one is the most perfect one. So you guys just want to buy the green pack. Just buy the green pack, in my opinion. It was really stiff at first. And once I started to break it in, it just got better and better. Now, with that being said, it's going to feel awkward as fuck using this analog stick to move because it's going to feel like you're being fought against. It's gonna, you're gonna you're gonna be moving slow. I'll even try to put some clips up of me using these controllers. There's like some TikToks and some YouTube shorts that I have. We'll do some Apex and we'll do some Call of Duty just so you can see my aim. Uh, and I died. There's no way this guy's just nailing me like that. Dude, look at me. Look at me. Just one clip that bro. Who do you think you're challenging? I'm me, Ghosty. Idiot, you f yeah. Oh, you fucking clown! Oh shit. Watch this. Through the tree. Oh my god, can someone clip that for me? I just fucking talk about her. But I'm telling you, man, especially for Apex. That has changed my game for the up, up close gunfights with this controller because I was losing mad gunfights up close because in Apex, you know, they get really close and personal and you're hip firing. And I just kept throwing my analog stick back and forth and I just couldn't keep up with them. But the minute I added it on, bro, it just felt like I was on this $250 controller, bro. It really did. So this is the cheat code, bro. If you guys want to make a bang ass setup, bro, for cheap, get yourself a Power A controller, precision, uh, precision rings by Control Freaks. And this right here will get you going, bro. All of this, this is like under 60 bucks, man. And if you guys want, there is another controller by Power A, like I was saying, and it has four, it has four back buttons, but they're more like paddles instead. So they're more like scuff and like the um, the Xbox Elite controllers. And that one, the eighty dollar version, also comes with analog sticks that can be tightened, if I'm not mistaken, or um, they can be changed out. So that's kind of a major W. And I think they might actually have trigger stops as well. Um, I could be mistaken. Don't quote me on that exactly. But I highly recommend you guys pick yourself up some Power A's, man. I do use them. I just want to let you guys know that I'm not bullshit you guys like i really do use these controllers i really do this one's plugged into my, my pc right now i really do use these controllers okay and this is another example get warranty because anytime these go out and they tend to i tend to get stick drift on my right analog stick really bad um and sometimes on my left analog stick but that's just from tap strafing and playing call of duty a lot like i stream a lot so that's why my controllers go out i only bought this one this one was free I lost the receipt. I only bought this one. This one. <laughs> Somewhere. That one was free. So you know what I'm saying? So each controller that I have, I bought one of them. The other one was free. And then I ended up getting, I'll put these down. So yeah, like I'm showing you, I have controllers, bro. I've tried out many different controllers. And this is the best one for the budget, bro. This is the best one all around. If you guys want an expensive controller, get a Cinch Gaming. I highly recommend it. They have a nice company, bro. Very personal. I love them heavy. But. Like I was saying, you know, get yourself precision rings, get yourself a power A controller, bro. If you haven't tried back buttons, here's your chance, bro. These right here are gonna go insane. And I've been using these, these don't work anymore, those I would give them away. But what I'm gonna do is customize them. I'm gonna draw on them and I'm gonna hang them up in the background. And those are just and those are just the ones I have. Like I, I probably have two other ones that I, I already returned because I got this one. Um watch I bought this one. Look, bro, watch. I'm doing this. I know it's kind of extra, bro, but I'm doing this to show you guys that I really do buy these controllers. I know it's kind of extra, but I, I really do buy these controllers. As you guys can tell, there's four right here. And I even got another one in the bag, bro. In the bag. Bro, I use these controllers, fam. I use these controllers. Oh, you don't, you don't believe me? You don't believe me they're in this? Oh, you don't believe me it's in this, it's, it's in this Amazon bag? You don't believe there's a fresh one in here, bro? Don't play me, bro. I'm telling you, bro. I really be using these. I just opened that. I really be using these motherfuckers, bro. I really be using these motherfuckers. I highly recommend, holy shit, you guys go pick one of these up, man. This is the controller. If you guys haven't used back buttons before, spend the 25 bucks, 40 bucks. Try them out, bro. I guarantee you'll become a better gamer. Real quick. A uh, little, little tip for this controller, man. Like I was saying, make sure you get the warranty. But if you go on Amazon, it is only $25. You go in a store to like Target or anything, it's gonna be like 40 bucks probably. It's gonna be a little bit more expensive, but make sure you get the Allstate insurance, bro. That's clutch. That is mandatory. But with that being said, baby, I just showed you guys the most clutch up setup. This is the most budget-friendly, 
a competitive controller setup you guys can have out there precision rings on the power a controller with the back buttons baby get yourself one this is your boy smoking a mac man i appreciate you guys tuning into the video once again and i'll catch you guys next time peace